Our reasoning for creating Last Swab was that we felt that uh, we were at a point in our career where we wanted to create a product that was truly sustainable. With single-use items, it's kind of a no-brainer. If you can go in and create a product that can be used a thousand times, that will replace a thousand of something that's single-use, then you have a huge impact. The last swab is made of nylon and silicone. Uh, the nylon rod and the ends are silicone. The community that's built around last swab just for the very short time that it's been here has been incredible. People are so engaged and interested because it really means something to them. Cotton swabs in particular, uh, we produce 550 billion of them each year, which is 1.5 billion cotton swabs every day. There was an, a study done in the UK that if you walk three steps on the beach, you'll find a cotton swab, and if you walk three steps more, you'll find a new one. Just imagine how big the UK is and how many beaches they have and how many cotton swabs that actually is on their beaches. Uh, it's a huge amount. And, and this is just what's on the UK beaches. Imagine beaches around the world and in the oceans. Our goal with Last Swab is to eliminate the need for single-use cotton swabs. Uh, at the very least, uh, bring it way, way down. Uh, this, the sale of cotton swabs hasn't gone down for uh, you know, 50 years, almost since its inception. And I think uh, our goal is to, to challenge that. The problem is really that we don't, you know, respect the things that we have. You know, we buy an IKEA chair, and if the leg breaks off, you know, we throw it out and buy a new one. Like we don't, we don't maintain, we don't repair, we don't buy things of a high quality. We, we're this. We need to care a lot more about the items we have, and obviously how they're produced and what they're made of, and all of these things are factors. But I think the most important thing is the lifespan of a product that you purchase, because every time you buy a product, there will be a process. It doesn't matter if it's biodegradable or made out of hemp. Plastic is not a bad thing. Like, take a plastic chair versus a bamboo chair. Like, when I say plastic chair and bamboo chair, people are like, oh, bamboo's better for the environment. But a bamboo chair can, can very likely be a lot worse. The plastic chair can be produced a lot lighter, the production methods are a lot quicker, uh, and it, it, if it's produced correctly and designed correctly, it will actually be more durable than a bamboo chair. It's not, it's not one to one, like it, plastic isn't bad, it's just a different material. And I think like any material, you have to use it wisely. As a designer, we try to you know, pick the right materials for the right task. Why, why buy something that lasts a year when you can buy something that lasts five? Uh, th this is the kind of question I think people need to start asking themselves. Do, I, obviously, start by asking yourself, do I really need this? I think that's a really good question. But if you decide that you really need this, this is something that brings value to your life, then find a version of it that lasts for a long time, something of quality.